high everyone section 4d the continuous annuities so consider an annuity paying a continuous payment at the rate of one dollar per year for n years what is the pv so this is a little theoretical question so in reality that we cannot get continuous payment but the idea is that the um okay so the basic annuity pays one dollar a year just one payment but the, if we want to have a higher frequency maybe we can get a half dollar every half year or a quarter dollar every quarter or one over twelve dollars um, every month so just that we make the uh, payment period shorter and shorter then we at least conceptually they think about the continuous the payment of the rate of one dollar per year so naturally the uh, way to calculate the pv is the taking limit of m3 payments annuity so we can consider this annuity as an annuity paying the one over m dollars every one over m year with an infinitely small m, m. So that means the present value can be calculated by the limit m goes to infinity, a right angle n superscript m. And we have studied in the previous sections 4.4a and 4b this is 1 minus v to the power n over i superscript m so this is the nominal rate which is equivalent to the rate at uh, the annual rate of i and that it compounds m times a year but still this is the annual nominal rate so basically we have to take the limit of this denominator. So what's the limit? So the key is this part. So think about the definition of I superscript M. So basically this one plus I superscript M over M, if we take M's power, this becomes one plus I. So that means the left-hand side is one plus i to the one plus m's power. So that means the i superscript m is equal to the one plus i to the power one over m minus one divided by one over m. And we are thinking about the taking limit m goes to infinity. But actually, this becomes some derivative of a function. So this is actually the derivative of 1 plus i, i's interest rate, to the power x. If we take the derivative at x is equal to zero by definition, so this is by definition. Of derivative. This is the derivative of this. So what is the derivative of the a to the power x if we differentiate this function. This becomes log of a. Here, the log is always natural logarithm. Since this is mathematics class, a to the power x. So that means this becomes log of one plus i times the one plus um, one plus i to the power x and we plug in x is equal to zero. So this part becomes one, this is one. So this is the entire quantity becomes log of 
1 plus i, so natural logarithm of 1 plus i. So that means that this limit becomes the 1 minus v to the power n over the log of 1 plus i. Or we can say that, that this is delta, the denominator is delta. So in section one that we consider the continuous revering interest rate and that we use defined the delta as the log of one plus i. So we can uh, write this as one minus v to the power n over d. So present value, this is the limit and this is equal to one minus v to the power n over delta. Delta is log of one plus i. So in this way, then we can calculate the present value of continuous payment. And notation. So what happens when m goes to infinity? Um, actually, that we use the notation a bar right angle n. So this is basically the limit m goes to infinity. A right angle n superscript m. So it sounds if we just plug in m is equal to infinity, that makes a new symbol. But actually, that we write this as a bar right angle n. So bar uh, looks continuous a function. Right. So um, yeah. So the, we use this notation. And another way to solve this question is by definition of integral, not differential. So what is the time diagram of this payment? We have time point zero and we have time point N and we have the continuous payment of the rate of one. So that means if we have the payment rate, we have one here and the continuous rate. So we have the flat payment function. And consider this present value. Since this is continuous, we just take some point T arbitrarily and we think about the present value of payment at very short time from T to T plus delta. Then, The present value of this payment is v to the power t times delta t because the, this area is one times delta t. So this area is delta t. And okay, so the time point is almost t. Okay, so t to t plus delta t, but the delta t is a small quantity. So approximately, So just uh, roughly speaking, this is equivalent to the VT delta T. So we add this present value from T is equal to, okay, so this is the T axis. So T is equal to zero to N. So remember that the in differential uh, integral calculus, the limit delta, ti goes to zero. So the um, quantity becomes zero. The summation over i, the v to the power ti delta ti. So the here we have the delta t, but the in general that we um, take a partition of the interval zero to n then the just the small interval the each small we named the each small interval as delta of t sub i then this is exactly the definition of integral zero to n the vt dt so we can write the present value as an integral So the PV, okay, so PV of 
this small quantity is equal to the v to the power t times delta t. So in total, that this is zero to n integral zero to n v t dt. And v to the power t is an exponential function. So the antiderivative is v to the power t over the log of v. So here, function of t. And we plug in n and plug in 0. So that becomes the v to the power n minus 1 over log of v. Log of v, v is 1 plus i to the power negative 1, 1 over 1 plus i. So to be exact, we put the parenthesis here. So then um, we can put the negative sign there before log and we multiply negative 1 on denominator and numerator, then numerator becomes 1 over v to the power n and the denominator becomes log of 1 plus i. So we exactly get the same formula as previous page. So again, that we got the same formula. The present value is equal to 1 minus v to the power n over log of 1 plus i. Um, here, the log of 1 plus i, so this is What the, this is actually the graph the similar to y is equal to x. Maybe if we have the i axis and the y axis, then um, basically, okay, so this is y is equal to i, and this is y is equal to log of 1 plus i. So that means if we have small i, small i, then value is similar but slightly smaller for the log of 1 plus i. So log of 1 plus i is slightly smaller than um, i. Yeah, okay, so we do example. Uh, what is the present value of 10 year annuity with continuous payment at the rate of $365 a year? Assume that the annual interest, effective interest is 3%. So basically the, uh, you receive $365 a year, but the $1 a day, or I would say a half dollar every half day, or maybe one over $20 um, every hour. So the continuous payment. So payment interval is arbitrarily small. That's the uniform rate. So what's the um, answer, present value? You can apply the formula we developed in the last two pages. So present value is 365 times $1 continuous payment. So that is A bar right angle 10 and we are using 3% interest. So that means 365 times one minus the V to the power 10. So V to the power 10 is 1.03 to the power negative 10. And the, we divide this by log of 1.03. So log of 1.03 is slightly smaller than 0 0.03. Actually, that is number is the 0 0.02956. So this becomes slightly larger than the present value of 10 year annuity at 3%. And this becomes 3,160 dollars. So this is an example for continuous annuities.